Bo here and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I want to talk about the law of causality and how you can use it to get more of what you want in life. So when you look at someone who has something that you want, uh, a level of success that you desire, or a level of fulfillment or certain circumstances in their life that you would like to have in your life as well, when you look at that, what most people do is they tend to look at the externals. They tend to look at what uh, physical advantages that person has. Like they know the right people, or they, they have a lot of money, or they were born with rich parents, or they have a nice car, they have a good job, they have all this success, and it's because they found this strategy or this tactic, or they did these certain action steps, and that's why they're successful. So most people are looking at the outside things, the external things, the things you can see with your eyes, and that's very natural. But if you only look at those things, you're basically missing the point. You're missing the underlying cause of why that person is the way they are or why they are as successful as they are. So you can see I have a little diagram here. Most people, what they're looking at is the A, B, C, the sequence of events in the external world or the sequence of actions that that person took to get where they wanna go. So let's say C here is the result you want. You want this outcome right here. So naturally, when you look at someone who has this outcome, you might look at the A and the B. You might look at what pre preceded that, what came before that result, what were the action steps, what were the circumstances, how did that person grow up, what strategies or tactics did they use, and you will look at the things that you can see with your eyes, the physical world. But that is missing the point because what you need to understand is that this ABC is stemming from an underlying cause, something deeper, something invisible. That's what the law of causality is. The law of causality basically says that for every effect, there is a cause. And for every cause that you can see with your eyes the, in the physical world, there is an underlying cause of that cause. So there is a deeper cause that is invisible. And that is this, the ABC. See, most people are looking at the action steps, the sequence of events or circumstances, or the strategies and tactics, but they're not looking at what is it that made that person take action and do those things? What is it that led to those certain results? Why is it that some people can take certain action steps and get no results or very little results, while other people can take those same exact actions, basically, and get completely different results? A lot of people, they look at something that someone did to become successful. I'll give you a quick example. Let's say someone starts a t-shirt business. They start selling t-shirts and they become massively successful with it. So then someone might look at that and say, oh, well, t-shirt business, that's the, the, the new opportunity. That's the big thing. That's what I should be doing. That's what people are thinking in their mind. They're like, oh, well, that must be what I need to do. Or maybe it's an MLM or it's e-commerce or it's internet marketing or it's a, a, you know, you have to get a bachelor or a doctorate degree because this person had all all this success and they went to college so maybe I have to go to college too you know you're looking at the external things right mm -hmm. so most people say if that person did those things or used those strategies then if I use those same strategies I will get the same results and that is just not the case and if you look around you can see it's obvious everyone is chasing opportunities but only a small percentage of those people actually succeed and get to this end result that they desire. And the reason is not because of A and then B. The reason is A, B, C. It's the underlying invisible cause that made that person be able to complete this sequence in the real world, the physical world, and get this result. It's the invisible A, B, C. So what does that mean? Basically, this is your state of mind or your state of consciousness or your world view, your perspective, your, your energy, you might say. It's who you have become. 
if you look at the most successful people in the world, they all have certain qualities and characteristics that allow them to be so successful. It's not that they just stumbled upon the right opportunity or they took the right actions or they were in the right place at the right time or they grew up under ideal circumstances. That's really not it because if you look at successful people, you'll see a wide range. You'll see that some successful people were uh, grew up in very horrible circumstances. Some people had very difficult upbringings. Other successful people had more easy upbringings, but they had the same end result. So it's obvious that it's not your upbringing, it's not your circumstances, it's not your actions or who you know or how much money you have. None of those things are really the reason for anyone's success. You have to look deeper, look at the invisible causes, and that is who you are being. So it's the type of person you are. It's, are you a generous person? Are you a leader? Are you courageous? Are you uh, interested in the success and well-being of other people? Or are you only in it for yourself? You see, two people can take the same actions, but one person does it with a genuine intention to serve and to help other people. And the other person does it with a selfish intention, a motive to just get what they want for themselves, but they don't really care about others. Which one of those people do you think is gonna get better results? Usually it's gonna be the person who has a genuine, pure intention. And even if the selfish person gets what they want in the short term, it usually doesn't last very long. The people that are able to achieve success and maintain it for a long period of time are people who have developed this ABC and have, have become the kind of person who can succeed and who can maintain their success and who can continue to see, succeed in whatever they do. It's not about the specific business they do or the tactic or strategy. They could start a whole new business in a whole different industry or do something completely different and they would still be successful because it's not about this. It's about this. It's about who you become. So I just want to challenge you today to start thinking more deeply about what your intention is for who you want to be in this world. Most people, they put more thought into what they're gonna eat for breakfast than they do into who they're going to be and how they're going to show up in this world and the qualities and virtues that they want to adopt and develop within themselves. If you just focus on this, being the right kind of person, the results will take care of themselves. You don't have to struggle and strive for success if you just become someone who is deserving of that, who is worthy of that. Someone who has good intentions, who wants to help people, someone who is courageous, someone who is a leader, someone who is loving and kind. The most successful people are often the most generous people, the most willing to serve others. Uh, they're the most courageous, they're willing to put themselves out there and be a leader and be vulnerable. So it's the invisible ABC, just remember that. Whenever you're struggling to figure out what you should do with your life or what opportunity or strategy you should take advantage of, realize that it doesn't matter what strategy you use. It matters who you are in the process of implementing that. And if you are the right kind of person, you will find a way to succeed. It might not work the first time, but if you're the right type of person, you will persevere and you will continue to overcome your challenges and you will eventually succeed. The people who give up and quit on their dreams when they're trying to achieve something are the people who have not mastered the ABC, the underlying invisible cause. That is what you should focus on. And this is something that a lot of people don't understand and it's, it's, it leads to a lot of frustration. And I've been there and I've, I understand that because for a long time I tried to force my way there by looking at, oh, what tactic do I need to use? What strategy, what business do I need to go into? What do I need to do? You know, that's what most people are thinking. And I was missing the point, and I realized that success stems not from what you do, but from who you are. So I just wanted to present this to you. This is the law of causality. And I have a training that's called Secrets of the 2% that you can uh, access below this video somewhere. And this goes into the other six laws that I've determined after studying the top 2% of people in this world, the top 2% of successful people, people who are fulfilled in their lives and who are creating a life that they love. I've studied these people for about a decade of my life and I've determined that most of them, if not all of them, 
live their lives in alignment with seven universal laws. The law of causality, which we're talking about today, is one of those seven laws. If you'd like to learn about all seven laws, just access the free training, Secrets of the 2%. It's uh, below in the description somewhere. There should be a link. And that's my invitation for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up or let me know in the comments below what you think or if you have any questions about it. So thank you again. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.